on the road again. We had left Moab, Utah, and we're headed towards Escalante. Our drive would take us through the beautiful Capitol Reef National Park. We'd then meet up with Scenic Byway 12, which would take us over Boulder Mountain. At the pass, Boulder Mountain reaches almost 10,000 feet. Well, hello from beautiful Escalante, Utah. It is a sunny day. However, that is about to change. <laughs> there is a winter weather advisory and snow is expected overnight. They don't really know how much, but it's supposed to start snowing in the wee hours of Friday morning. It is currently Thursday and snow and rain off and on through Saturday. So I'm curious to see what actually happens, but it is quite chilly right now. Very brisk, <laughs> but beautiful. Today the plan is to just go into town, make sure we are stocked up on water, get another propane tank filled, and the plan is to hunker down here the next couple of days and wait out the storm. Really actually hoping it arrives. I'm excited for it. The rest of the afternoon was spent just preparing for the incoming storm. We went into town to the visitor center to fill up all our empty water bottles. We kept a close eye on all the various weather reports just to have a better idea of what to expect. Quick word about the sponsor of today's video, RV Mattress. In my apartment, before I moved into my RV full time, I had a king size bed that was super comfortable. I've always made sure I've had very comfortable beds. I would have never thought in a million years that they could make a mattress for an RV or a trailer or a van that would rival a bed that you could have in a home. But RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding has definitely done that. RVmattress.com is a Brooklyn Bedding brand known for top of the line comfort and quality. Quality. Plus, they have a factory in Arizona and ship conveniently to you for free anywhere in the U.S. They offer different firmness options, heights, and dimensions, even RV-specific and non-traditional sizes to fit right into your lifestyle. A good night's sleep is super important to me, especially after long days of driving on the road. And even after a year of owning my RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, it is still something I look forward to crawling into after a long day and getting a good night's sleep. When searching for a new RV mattress, I personally needed it to fit into my travel trailer and be comfortable. Based on this, I got the Signature Hybrid in the short queen size and a medium firmness. I not only sleep here, but it's pretty much my lounge area where I do work and stream movies. I spend a ton of time on my RV mattress. With your RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding Mattress, you get a 120 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty. RVmattress.com delivers your mattress right to your door for free within the US. Plus it comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up yourself. The best part about all of this is that Brooklyn Bedding has their own factory in Arizona. This means they are able to use premium materials at a reasonable price for you with no middleman bringing up the cost. I love my RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out rvmattress.com. You can click the link below or go to rvmattress.com slash Catherine and get 25% off with code Catherine to help support the channel. Thank you to RV Mattress for sponsoring. Now back to the video. Thank you. 
Good morning from a snowy Escalante, Utah. For once, the forecast was correct. <laughs> it is beautiful out there. We actually escaped Moab to come here because we thought there was going to be weather in Moab. It said nothing about any precipitation here today until we got here. So the storm came up kind of last minute and uh, that's how things happen sometimes. I'm really loving it. I think it's beautiful. We can stay cozy inside. We have plenty of water, food, propane, so we're safe. And uh, it's gonna be a nice day to just chill inside and have a cozy day with some cozy food and uh, be indoors and take kind of a little down day. It's absolutely gorgeous. Today is all about comfort food. I will be making a fancy version of an Egg McMuffin on sourdough English muffin with some tomatoes, spinach, a fried egg, bacon. It's gonna be yummy. I worked off my fancy Egg McMuffin by getting a few chores done after breakfast. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow It is now afternoon and the temperature is about 37 degrees. It is snowing, but a lot of the snow has melted off the trees. But as you can see, it's still coming down pretty good. It's snowing, still snowing. It's actually snowed off and on, but it's uh, snowing again currently, and I'm really enjoying it. You might recall that last winter, I spent the entire winter in Utah. It was my first time spending winter in a place that actually experiences winter and snow. 
I got used to driving in the snow, functioning in the snow. I went out camping in the snow. It was a lot of fun. Obviously this year is more in line with my typical winters where I escaped to more temperate climates <laughs> and I really wasn't expecting it to snow here, but I'm, I am very much enjoying it. Joey's using it as an opportunity to continue work and editing and I'm getting a little bit of work done myself. I'm still in my jammies. I'll probably be in my jammies all day. No need to put real clothes on. <laughs> I'll be in here in my camper staying nice and warm and cozy and uh, yeah just enjoying a little bit of a down day. I think it's a perfect time for a little hot cocoa. I got this in Canada and I still have some left from last summer. We have another round of snow coming in and it is pretty much dumping. This is the most snow we've seen all day and I'm guessing it's around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. This is awesome! It's the most snow we've seen all day! Woohoo! <laughs> it's really snowing! This is the same road I was walking yesterday. Looks a little bit different now. Alright, it's time to come back in from running around in the snow outside and get some dinner going and I have the perfect dinner plan for a snowy day and that is chili. I'll be cooking my chili in this pot and it is a vintage Carrollton pot. You might remember I picked up a Revereware pan at a estate sale and I've also picked up this pot and uh, apparently it was made for the Navy. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Looking forward to putting it to good use. The ingredients are super simple. I have some diced tomatoes, some kidney beans, various spices. I'm gonna dice that onion. And there is some Tex-Mex mix, chili mix, which I will add to some ground beef. crushed red pepper, a little salt, and a little pepper. Okay, now I'm adding the seasoning mix. And the diced tomatoes. And the kidney beans. It looks good already. And now we'll just let that simmer for a while. All right, 
I think we're done. I'm going to get this served up. Finishing touches, of course, cheese. And for Joey's, he gets onion. I'm not a raw onion fan. I do like picked onion, but not raw. You want any of this? No, I'm good. It continued to snow through the night, so we had a relaxing evening inside, just streaming some Netflix and chilling out. what we're waking up to this morning it's pretty much a winter wonderland out there it snowed overnight but doesn't appear to be snowing right now we may get a little bit more but I think the bulk of the storm has passed it's absolutely beautiful out there so peaceful and quiet out here it's a winter wonderland I was definitely not expecting to catch myself in a winter storm this season however I'm very glad that I was here because it is absolutely stunning I think the brunt of the storm has passed us we are expecting maybe a little bit more snow this afternoon or up until noon I should say and maybe a little bit tomorrow morning but I think most of it has passed over us and uh, we are the only ones here <laughs> we're the only ones crazy enough to be out here if I didn't mention it before, this is BLM land. It's free camping up to 14 days and uh, it's dry camping. No power, no water, nothing like that. As soon as this clears out, I'm going to get on another adventure. You'll have to stay tuned to see where I go. I always appreciate you coming along. I appreciate you viewing and I'll see you on the next one, everybody. Bye-bye. We're getting Catherine's little solar panels cleared off of uh, snow. You can see there's a bunch of snow, quite a few inches actually, piled up on top of these panels. I think she has three. Gotta get that one still.